Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwan. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can prepare for UGC NET exam in just 45 days. So, all right, let me first start by addressing something I hear from a lot of students. Ma'am, can't do anything now. Only 1.5 months are left. It's too late. Let me try in the next attempt. And when I tell them that they can absolutely prepare for UGC NET Paper 1 and Paper 2 in just 45 days, I usually get two reactions. Either they laugh and say, ma'am, you're joking, it is not possible. And a lot of students would agree, but they would agree by saying that we'll only give one week to Paper 1 and put our entire focus on Paper 2 in the next 45 days. And that's how we are going to clear it. But let me tell you, that is not a right strategy at all. In fact, if you prepare for paper 1 and paper 2 in 45 days with the right strategy, and that is what I'm going to share in this particular video, I'm telling you that you can confidently crack net exam. Now, it's okay even if you're starting from scratch. This strategy will help you cover the syllabus, revise, and also give you enough time to solve previous year questions. And all of this will happen in just 45 days. Okay. So if you're interested in turning the next 45 days into a game-changing period for UGC NET preparation, stay tuned because here's what we are going to cover in this video. We'll be talking about four major things. Number one, strategy to complete uh, the course for both paper one and paper two in just 45 days. Number two, I'm also going to share how many hours you actually need to study each day. Number three, I'm going to talk about the overall study plan or study timetable for the next 45 days. And then I'm also going to give you a daily timetable to help you keep on track. So without any much delay, let's begin. The first important thing that I would want to share with all of you is that before I move further, talk about the strategy, one important rule you have to remember, and that is you need to study for seven to eight hours every day, no matter what. And there's no shortcut around it. 45 days hi bache hai students and 45 days mein agar aapko clear karna hai to 7 to 8 hours aapko padhna hi hoga 2 ghante padh ke 45 days mein net nahi clear ho sakta i know sometimes things happen maybe there's a family function friends want to hang out or you're just feeling too tired but if you really want to crack your gc net paper 1 and 2 in just 45 days you must make sure that you study for 7 to 8 hours even when it's very difficult, it's very hard, you're very, very demotivated, you don't feel like picking up the book, but still you do it. Now, think of it like a serious promise to yourself. You just cannot skip your study hours. Friends, these 45 days can make all the difference in your life. So you need to stay focused no matter what else is going on. Okay. Now, the second important condition is very simple. You won't get any holidays during these 45 days. This means no breaks on weekends, no time off on public holidays. And yes, even during festivals, you have to study. So, kuch bhi ho, Sunday aay, Monday aay, aapko 45 days dedicatedly padna hai. Now, I know this sounds tough. You might think, weekend hai, thoda sa to break lena banta hi hai, festival hai, let me relax today. But remember, you have only 45 days to prepare every day every minute every hour counts so if you skip a day you will fall behind by seven to eight hours and at this particular uh, time every hour is very very crucial so whether it's sunday or a festival treat it like a normal study day keep going keep uh, your focus and remind that you just have to do this for 45 days and then you will have plenty of time to celebrate okay now, let me start by talking about the strategy and let me break that strategy down into 45 days. So, we are going to divide it into two parts, first chunk and second chunk. Now, first chunk will be of 35 days when you are going to complete the syllabus for paper one and paper two both. So, in the next 35 days, your target should be to cover the syllabus. And then the last 10 days, is what we are going to solely focus on solving PYQs and revising. Okay. So let us begin by talking about chunk one. Sabse pehle. These 45, 35 days are very, very crucial for covering the entire syllabus. Okay. Let us start by talking about paper one and then we will take paper two. Kaise, kaise cover karna? I'll tell you everything. Now for paper one, I've recently written a book that covers all the 10 units of paper one and it has become an Amazon bestseller as well. 
Now in that book, I've divided all the ten units of paper one into thirty three chapters. So, जैसे unit one है teaching aptitude, उसको मैंने five chapters में divide किया. Now the good news that this 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 division that I've done will help you to cover the entire syllabus in thirty three days for paper one I'm talking about. So you can cover one chapter per day, which means you will be able to finish the entire syllabus of paper one in just thirty three days. Now I know that some of you might be wondering that why all the units are not let me leave any unit. But my answer to this would be extreme no. Why? Because like I said earlier, now NTA doesn't ask five questions from each unit. It can ask you eight questions from research aptitude and just two questions from communication. So if you leave research aptitude completely, then you get direct sixteen marks deducted. So hence. All the ten units are very very important. Now, one thing that I've done in the book is that for all the complex topics, I've made it very very simple for you. The book in includes a lot of images, mind maps, mnemonics, fun Bollywood references, so that you can remember those things very easily. Plus, you can uh, scan the QR codes that are given in the book to watch videos which are explaining those topics. So, what does this do? कि आपको सब कुछ एक ही जगह मिल जाता है आपको सिर्फ वो बुक पढ़नी है फॉर द नेक्स्ट थर्टी थ्री डेज एंड यू आर सॉर्टेड ऑल्सो आई हैव इंक्लूडेड अ कलेक्शन ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड प्लस पी जिसके अंदर सारे 2014 से लेकर 2023 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री तक के सारे क्वेश्चन हैं सो ऑल दोज पी वाई क्यूज विल हेल्प यू टू प्रैक्टिस एट द एंड जो लास्ट के टेन डेज है उसमें आप प्रैक्टिस भी वहीं से कर सकते हो नाउ एक चीज यहाँ पे समझने की बहुत जरूरत है रिमेंबर वी कॉन्ट कवर द एंटायर सिलेबस इन जस्ट थर्टी फाइव डेज This is very very clear. So what you need to do is that you need to do smart work instead of hard work. This brings us to a very interesting idea, which is known as the Pareto principle. आप इसके बारे में Google भी कर सकते हैं. Now this principle says that twenty to thirty percent of the effort leads to seventy to eighty percent of the result. Think about it. ये आपकी life में apply होगा. आपके ज़िंदगी के वो बीस पच्चीस लोग आप जितने भी लोगों को जानते हैं, उसमें से twenty percent लोग ऐसे होंगे. जो आपकी लाइफ को 80% परसेंट इम्पैक्ट करते हैं जिसमें मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम हमारे पेरेंट्स आते हैं कि वो है तो दो ही लोग बट उनकी लाइफ में अगर कुछ भी गड़बड़ है तो हमारी लाइफ को 80% तक वो अफेक्ट करता है आप कंपनीज में देख लीजिए एवरी कंपनी विल हैव 20% ऑफ देयर प्रोडक्ट्स जो उनको 80% परसेंट प्रॉफिट देते हैं राइट सेम प्रिंसिपल हमें अप्लाई करना है फॉर आर प्रेपरेशन नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट फोर्टी फाइव डेज वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द परेटो प्रिंसिपल एंड विल टैकल only the most important and crucial things let me decode this in very very simple words ki when you will go through pyqs agar aap paper 1 ke pyqs dekhte hain to aap ek cheez notice karenge that 70% paper is designed from 20 to 30% of the syllabus okay hence by focusing on only on this 20 30% most crucial portion the most high weightage topic you can secure 70% marks in paper 1 so you don't need to do all the topics what you have to do is that you have to only focus on the 20 30% of the uh, paper jahan se sabse zyada questions aa rahe hain to 20 30% topics aise honge aapke pure syllabus mein se har unit mein paper 1 mein aap dekhenge kuch kuch aise topic hai jahan se har baar question aate hain jaise research mein sampling se aayega hi aayega पीपल डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट से एयर पोल्यूशन से आएगा ही आएगा तो अगर आपने वो टॉपिक्स भी कर लिए अगर सिर्फ उतने उतने से टॉपिक्स भी आपने कवर कर लिए तो आप 70 परसेंट पेपर को आराम से अटैम्प्ट कर पाओगे ओके वॉट आई हैव डन इन माई बुक इज दैट आफ्टर थरली एनालाइजिंग द पी वाई क्यूज आई हैव मार्क द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली रिपीटेड टॉपिक्स इन एवरी चैप्टर एंड आई हैव मार्क दैम एज एग्जाम एसेंशियल तो आपको दिख जाएगा हर चैप्टर में हर टॉपिक में कि ये एग्जाम एसेंशियल टॉपिक है दैट मीन्स ये सबसे ज्यादा रिपीट हो रहा है सबसे ज्यादा ट्रेंड कर रहा है ओके सो इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव द टाइम टू कवर द एंटायर चैप्टर इन वन डे जस्ट फोकस ऑन द एग्जाम एसेंशियल्स ऑफ दैट चैप्टर सो दैट आपने अगर वो भी पढ़ लिया तो आपके मार्क्स से क्यों है ठीक है दिस इज द स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर पेपर वन नाउ लेट इज मूव टू पेपर टू इंग्लिश ना ये जो स्ट्रैटेजी मैं आपको पेपर टू इंग्लिश के लिए दे रही हूँ ये सेम स्ट्रैटेजी आप अपने दूसरे पेपर टू सब्जेक्ट के लिए भी इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं नाउ द सिलेबस फॉर पेपर टू इंग्लिश इज एज यू ऑल नो इट इज वेरी वेरी वास्ट एज एज बिग एज ओशन एंड कवरिंग एवरी थिंग इन जस्ट फोर्टी फाइव डेज इज नियरली इम्पॉसिबल लाइक आई बीन टीचिंग इंग्लिश लिटरेचर फ्रॉम पास्ट सेवन ईयर्स एंड सिंस 
देन आज भी अगर कोई मुझे बोले कि क्या आपने सब पढ़ लिया इंग्लिश में आई वुड से नो एंड आई नो दैट दिस आंसर इज गोइंग टू रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ बिकॉज द सिलेबस इज सो वास्ट दैट यू कैन कीप ऑन रीडिंग कीप ऑन रीडिंग एंड स्टिल यू कैन नेवर कम टू अ कंक्लूजन कि आज मेरा सिलेबस हो गया ओके सो यहाँ पे भी वी आर गोइंग टू डू स्मार्ट वर्क क्या करेंगे इफ यू गो टू माई वेबसाइट अर्पिता करवा डॉट कॉम आई हैव लिस्टेड द ऑल द टॉपिक्स ऑल द राइटर्स जहाँ से क्वेश्चन आते हैं यू जी सी नेट में एंड आई हैव डिवाइडेड इट इन टू थर्टीन मॉड्यूल सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड ऑल ड्रामा पोइट्री फिक्शन नॉन फिक्शन फॉर एवरी कंट्री ब्रिटिश अमेरिकन पोस्ट कलोनियल यूरोपियन इंडियन then literary criticism theory and there's a entire syllabus which is there in 13 modules and this is made after thoroughly analyzing pyq so jahan jahan se bhi questions aa rahe hain pyqs mein un sab ko i have all those writers i've listed in the syllabus and that is what i'm teaching in my online course now since you have 35 days only to cover the syllabus what you have to do you have to again go to the pareto principle that you have to identify the most important topics jahan se 70% परसेंट पेपर बन रहा है एंड दो थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट मॉड्यूल्स एज आई ऑलवेज दे इन माई विडियोज विल बी ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर लिटरी थ्योरी एंड लिटरी क्रिटिसिजम इफ यू हैव मास्टर दीज थ्री इन दैट केस यू आर डन विद द सिलेबस आपने सेवेंटी एट्टी परसेंट सिलेबस कर लिया है ना उसके बेसिस पे आप आराम से नेट निकाल सकते हैं नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट थर्टी फाइव डेज आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू ओनली फोकस ऑन दीज थ्री यूनिट इसके अलावा कुछ और मत पढ़िए literary theory criticism are very very smaller units as compared to all the other units and therefore is do unit ko criticism in theory ko you can complete without difficulty in 35 days so aapko isme se sab kuch hi padhna hai however if we talk about british literature it's a very very vast unit now uh, if you have seen the recent papers you will identify that nowadays they are asking most of the questions after enlightenment age okay so british literature starts from anglo saxon and then ends at post modern age jisko bhi maine uh, age wise divide kiya hai mere syllabus ke andar wahan se sabse zyada questions jo aa rahe hain wo five ages se aate enlightenment romantic victorian modern and post modern so now that you have only 35 days i would suggest you to only focus on these five ages and literary criticism and theory now in these ages focus only on the major writers and their works we don't have the luxury of time to dive into minor writers so stick to what is the most important and crucial portion now you can check out this uh, syllabus that is there on my website and then from that particular list pick up 250 writers from these three modules british criticism theory se 250 writers pick kar lo and your target should be to finish all these 250 writers in next 35 days now you must be wondering that 250 writers how will i finish them in 35 days but don't worry i am going to share that in the next section of this video theek hai so this is all about your preparation strategy for chunk 1 jisme hum 35 days mein prepare kar rahe hain now let us look at chunk 2 chunk 2 is the final 10 days when you are going to revise this is when your syllabus is finished and you are dedicated uh, you dedicated yourself for revision so dedicate the last 10 days to pure revision and solving pyqs this is the most crucial step because this helps you to get a feel of for the type of questions that are going to asked and how to approach them ek cheez bahut important hai knowledge ek cheez hai aur paper kaise solve karna hai uska skill ek alag skill hai so aapko knowledge हो रही है इन 35 डेज बट पेपर कैसे सॉल्व करना है ये स्किल भी आपको डेवलप करना है एंड दिस विल हैपन इन द लास्ट टेन डेज सो यू हैव टू कीप दिस इन माइंड कि लास्ट टेन डेज में कुछ भी नया नहीं पढ़ना है ओके यू विल ऑल्सो स्ट्रेंथन योर रिविजन बिकॉज आपका रिविजन ही है जो आपको एक्स फैक्टर देगा सब लोग धक्का मार के सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर लेते हैं बट टॉपर वो होता है जो कम से कम दो से तीन बार पूरा सिलेबस रिवाइज करता है सो लास्ट टेन डेज विल be focused on pyq solving and for revision and focus on solving as many pyqs as possible in the last 10 days because that is going to boost your confidence and your accuracy in pyq sirf unke topics ke solve karne hain jo aapne 35 days mein cover kiya hai ye kafi sare students galti karte hain ki chalo naye naye pyqs karte hain ab usme naye concepts aa rahe hain ab wo padhne mein lag rahe ho aur aap revise nahi kar pa rahe ho this mistake you don't have to do you have to focus all your energy in just doing those 250 writers that you have picked in the beginning okay now let us look at the 
daily timetables. So, all right. Now, let's break down your daily study routine. As I mentioned earlier, you need to study around 8 hours every day. Now, we'll divide these 8 hours into 3 parts. Just like we divided 45 days in 2 parts. Mein divide kiya tha. Now, we are going to divide it into 3 parts to make the most of your study routine. The first part of the day. First hour jo aap padhenge, that first hour of the day should be dedicated to revision. This is when you are going to go over whatever you've studied in the previous day. So, no matter aapka kitna hi syllabus bacha hua hai, this one hour, you will not do anything new. You are just going to revise whatever you've studied the previous day. Revision, my friends, is the key to making sure that these concepts stick in your mind. Don't skip this. This is very, very crucial for your preparation. You might study 200 topics. Do not revise them. You will not remember even one topic on the day of the exam. On the other hand, if you are doing just 50 topics, but revising them regularly at least 2-3 times before the exam, you will remember all the 50 topics in the exam. So, you can see, 200 topics will not be successful. 50 topics will not be successful with revision. Ke saath now, next is when we spend two hours on paper one. Remember what I said earlier, ki I have divided the entire 10 units of paper one into 33 chapters. So, you have to focus on completing one chapter per day in these two hours. Now, two hours, mein, um, I have written the book in a very simple language. If you read a novel, ki bhi agar padhenge, to aapko sab samaj aega. Keep a highlighter in hand. Keep highlighting the important things. I've given you a lot of tables. Summary uh, ki sheets I have given you so that you don't have to make anything. You've read the whole chapter. In the last, you get a summary table. All of you remember in the things. So following this approach, you, you can complete all the 33 chapters in 35 days. And that is how you cover the entire paper 1 syllabus in 33 days. Okay. Now we come on to the third chunk of the day, the third part of the day. And that is the more major part, 5 hours. Now, the remaining 5 hours out of the 8 hours, you are going to dedicate to paper 2 preparation. Aapka jo bhi subject ho, I am going to take example of English literature because that is what I teach. So, English literature ko aap de rahe 5 hours. And now, in these 5 hours, you are going to target and cover 7 major writers every day. Hamne 250 writers pick kare te, pure syllabus mein se, jo 250 sabse crucial writers hai. Unme se seven writers aapko pick karna hai rows. Now stick to the only important writers, jaise Virginia Woolf, T. S. Eliot, Alexander Pope, all the important ones you have to do on a regular basis. Koi bhi minor writers mat lije ga. Ye jo major writers hai, inko detail mein padhiye. Focus on their major works, focus on their minor works, chronology yaad kariye. Do all, all of the things that you can do for a writer. So rather than studying five writers, I'm telling you, कि आपको एक राइटर डिटेल में पढ़ना है एक घंटे के अंदर। Now what I do in my video course is that I explain every writer and each of their works in 10-12 minutes के छोटे-छोटे animated videos कि अगर आपको let's say um, Paradise Lost आप पढ़ रहे हैं now it is a very very major work उसको मैंने 10 से 12 मिनट में आपको उसका पूरा समरी बता दिया है क्या-क्या important points आपको exam के हिसाब से याद रखने वो बता दिया so इस तरीके से आपने Milton का कितना बड़ा work 10 मिनट के अंदर खत्म कर दिया so, Agar aap mere course mein bhi enrolled hai, so this is what I'm going to tell you, ki pick up one writer, let's say you've picked up Charles Dickens. Now Charles Dickens padha, uske jitne bhi major works jinki mene aapko summary ki videos diye hain, wo aapne dekhe 10-10 minutes each, ek ghante mein aapka Charles Dickens complete and you are thorough, okay, with that topic. So if you follow this and cover 7 writers daily, you will finish easily 250 writers, aap calculate kar sakte hai. 35 days into 7 is 250 writers aap cover kar lenge exam point of view se in just 35 days. Now, yaha pe ek catch hai ki maine kyu bola hai ki 5 hours mein 7 writer because har writer mein aapko ek ghanta nahi lagega. Kuch writers chote bhi honge jinke zyada works nahi hai. So, wo aap half an hour, 45 minutes mein kar lenge. So, overall 7 writers aap 5 hours ke andar kar lenge. Okay. So, this is how you have to structure your entire day. Lastly, one important disclaimer, and this is going to be the most important thing that I would want to tell you. Since we have limited time, restrict your resources. Try to stick to one book or one teacher. Don't get overwhelmed and confused by your friend's strategy and you are applying that. Focus on quality over quantity. Come writers karna hai, but itne achche se karna hai ki us writer se koi bhi question aajai, aap solve kar paain. That should be your strategy, okay? 
using this you can easily cover majority of the syllabus in the next 45 days i wish you all the best for the preparation uh, that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com